Gran Bretaña ha vuelto. Ese es el mensaje que ha dado el gobierno británico y su recién elegido primer ministro en la cumbre de la Comunidad Política Europea celebrada en Oxford, donde se debaten asuntos de interés mutuo. Euronews ha entrevistado al ministro británico de Relaciones con la Unión Europea y ha ratificado ese mensaje en la conversación mantenida con este medio. Britain is back here on the European stage today, and I think you've already seen in the very early days of this government, the Rwanda scheme has been scrapped. Our commitment to remaining signatories to the European Convention on Human Rights, which, by the way, Winston Churchill himself, we're here at his birthplace, Blenheim Palace, played such a part in actually creating in the first place. So, yes, we are going to be a government that respects international law, a government that stands tall on the world stage, and, yes, in respect of the... Uh, Windsor framework, our commitment is to implementing that and being, I'm not saying for a moment that we're always going to agree, to agree but we will always be a good faith partner. President Zelensky is here. Are you confident that there is watertight support for Ukraine in the long haul by all your European counterparts and the UK? Well, that's what I'm seeing in the room today. That's what I'm seeing when I hear President Zelensky speak in that extraordinarily powerful way. I could feel the sense of solidarity in the room when he was speaking. And for us as a new government, we from opposition offered bipartisan support for Ukraine, and we will continue to offer that support for as long as it takes. One of the other big topics is defending democracy. Um, we have Viktor Orban here, who's going to hold the next EPC. Is that problematic for you, that he doesn't support Ukraine in any military way, but then goes to Putin vis-a-vis Xi Jinping? He's someone who essentially sides with the opposition. Listen, we work with the world uh, as we find it. It's a matter for other countries who their leaders are. But that doesn't mean we won't continue to pursue our objectives and continue to do as we have been doing and Keir Starmer has been doing so powerfully here today, which is to build that coalition of support for Ukraine as wide as we possibly can. That's what we will continue to do.